Nothing lasts forever then. Not even for Hanakaze, by some way Sumo's oldest modern day wrestler, who on Wednesday this week announced his retirement four months shy of 52. The Tatsunami stable legend, who joined when this infamous Yokozuna was still an Ozeki, was supposed to bow out after turning 50 in May 2020, but was hindered from finding other employment by the pandemic. As the stable's long-term Chanko chef, it makes sense for him to use those skills in the restaurant trade, which he will seemingly now do from mid-February in Hyogo, meaning he separates from his Tokyo roots. Since his pro debut at the age of 15 in March 1986, Hanakaze has fought 214 tournaments and won 683 bouts, ranking second only to Tamawashi at the time of quitting. In January last year, he became the first wrestler in his 50s since 1905 to post a winning score, and even reached four wins again in September. He also won two bouts in the tournament just gone, but I'm truly sorry to have missed what turned out to be his last bout by just three minutes. This then is the final footage of him I got, and thus ends the 36 year career of the only surviving wrestler from Emperor Hirohito's reign, who despite never clearing upper division 4, impacted perhaps more stablemates lives than any of his peers. Words can't really do that justice. Hanakaze was actually one of 25 retirements this time, a record in recent years and perhaps a reflection of the misery lower level wrestlers feel when forced to spend more time cooped up with bullying seniors under pandemic restrictions. Here are a few of the channel's supporting cast who have chosen to quit. We, and Sumo, shall miss them dearly. <laughs>